Went out there in a clown van with like 10 people I didn't know. Big mistake. Big mistake. Not the clown van. That was kind of a mistake. Pissed a couple people off that were tied to the clown van. But one of the fucking cardinal rules of tripping, right? Especially if it's one of your first trips or whatever. Only trip around people that you trust and that you know fairly well or trust. At least know, you know. Trust comes with knowing someone. But I was around like nine people I'd never hung out with before and were in the back of this clown van that I had randomly. Whole other story, but I had a clown van. Dr. Wiggles wiener wagon right there. And um, we got out, We went to this thing called Moon Tribe. Have you heard of Moon Tribe? It was cool at first. The music was kind of shitty. I'm not big into electronic, you know, <laughs> You know, I mean, I love electronic music, but that is just like shitty EDM fucking house, whatever the fuck. I don't even have the vocabulary, nor do I want to even learn about it, okay? So that kind of made it shitty. Then I was tripping around people that I didn't know. I dropped liquid acid, liquid acid. Usually it's like on paper or on like a, you know, a sweet tart or something or a menthol, mentoid, mentoid? Menth, menth, Altoid? I don't know. Uh, one of those things, candies, you could put it on a lot of things. But I had liquid, this dude I didn't know that came with in the clown van. He just dosed me multiple drops in the dark at like 2 a.m. 2 a.m. is when I started. So it was crazy. I saw the sunrise in the desert. and It was beautiful and we were dancing. And it was amazing. Like time slowed down. It fucking slowed down completely. Just slowed down. Like holy fuck. It was gorgeous and the sun started coming up and like, I mean, I love the desert. There's something magical inherently about the desert, you know, and uh, it was awesome. And like, even though the music was like pretty shitty, like <laughs> I got past that and it was cool. And, you know, that was the best part, right? Like the sunrise and the dancing. And, and then I, we went back to the, the van because that's everyone's just hanging out in the clown van, just like snorting coke snorting ketamine just like doing drugs and uh we go back to the clown van and i end up just staying there and then all of a sudden like it's like noon the next day you know and i'm like still tripping I'm like, holy shit and then i look at my only friend i know jesse i knew one person there out of like the 10 people and i'm like bro didn't you say we were gonna like go back today like i was gonna be able to make my softball game Oh, you weren't serious, were you? No, shit. I'm like, we're not making it back, dude. Everyone's like still doing drugs. I'm like, I'm still tripping on acid right now. Like, I can't drive. I can't. And then I, I skipped the most dramatic part of the story, which was, well, I guess that kind of happened the whole time. But um, there are these people across from us in this big truck and they had a Unfortunately, they had a fucking nitrous oxide tank, like a six foot fucking tank of nitrous oxide gas that they were in balloons all night, all fucking night, blowing up balloons, huffing, taking whippets, fucking whippets. I don't understand whippets, especially now. Maybe if you were in the fucking bush in Australia or in the fucking middle of nowhere, Africa, and had no other drug, then do a whip it. But if you're at like a fucking festival rave and there's like all the other good drugs, why do you need to do a whip it too? Really? I just don't understand that. So people are doing whippets all night. <laughs> the fucking, and then so I'm like on acid and I keep hearing that <laughs> song and it's song sound and it's freaking me out it's not a song it's the opposite of a fucking song it's like ah that's like a someone's every time i hear that it's like a soul dying or something and it starts to freak me out and then you know they're like hey do you want to come hit this balloon and i'm like no nah, i'm good and some of my friends are hitting it at first and like they got kind of high i guess on it i don't know i've done whippets before but it's just stupid and and then later they're like guys uh man that tank i'm pretty sure that tank's empty so people are just like lining up and huffing air but they they think that 
there's like something in there, but I think it's just like a placebo thing. Cause I just huffed like two or three like full balloons and I should be like passed out right now, but I'm not. So like, it's obviously not all there, you know? So that was interesting. Um, don't do whippets. I'm not a big whippet fan. Never have been. Trying to just not do drugs in general, guys. Trying to be like the sober guy. <laughs> no, not the sober guy, but just just uh, just do them more.